Hi, this is Rob with Canon Media. I'm going to take a look at the self timer on the Canon PowerShot SX260. Most cameras have a self timer. The self timer allows for a delay between 2 and 10 seconds after pressing the shutter button and before the camera takes the photo. The two main reasons for a self timer is one, allow the photographer to get in the shot, or two, to reduce camera shake when taking photos in low light or when you are really zoomed in. On the Canon SX260, you can get up to 80x digital zoom. See my video on the optical zoom versus digital zoom on the SX260. I'll leave a link below. Thus, when you are really zoomed in, you can use a tripod and a two second self timer to reduce or eliminate camera shake. Let's see how we set the self timer on the SX260. To access the self timer settings, push in here on the bottom of the control dial. These are the options. Self timer off, a 10 second timer, a 2 second timer, and a custom timer. Using the custom timer, you can set the number of seconds up to 10 seconds and the number of shots up to 30 shots. If you use the custom timer and set it to 10 seconds and 3 shots, it will count down to 10 seconds, then take 3 consecutive shots rapidly one after another. This is good for group shot because always someone will have their eyes closed in the photo. For photos of large groups, I suggest you take between 6 to 10 consecutive shots in the custom timer. To set the custom timer, scroll to the custom timer, then press the menu button, and use the control dial to set the seconds and the number of shots. Then press the function button in the center of the control dial. In most situations, the 10 second timer is good enough. I use the 2 second timer for low light and extreme zoom to reduce camera shake. But remember, you always need to use a tripod when using the self timer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.